now looking at the nerves on a lower limb. This time they're in yellow rather than in white. So what we're looking at towards the top of the limb here is the salus major and iliacus muscles. Coming out of the lateral side of the salus major, we can see the femoral nerve here just above the inguinal ligament and then a bit of it just inferior to the inguinal ligament in the femoral triangle. So that is all femoral nerve. If we then have a, a, a look at the lateral wall of the pelvis from a medial point of view, again, we can see the obturator nerve here passing into the obturator canal through the obturator groove in the little hole in the obturator internus muscle here. So that's going to be the obturator nerve right there. And then what we can also see, if we look in the, where the, uh, the distal part of the femoral triangle and then in the adductor canal, noting that sartorius has already been removed from this model, what we can see running through here is actually the saphenous nerve. So the yellow one there traveling with the femoral artery and vein will be the saphenous nerve. Now on this specimen, to see any more nerves, we need to turn this specimen over and have a look at the posterior point of view, where we can see gluteus medius and piriformis, and then coming out just distal to piriformis, as it usually does, is the sciatic nerve. So this great big yellow structure here is the sciatic nerve, and of course as we get down just proximal to the popliteal fossa, it should split into a tibial nerve, run straight down the back through the middle of the popliteal fossa, straight down the back of the knee, and a common fibular nerve. Now the common fibular nerve should run uh, just over the back of the head of the fibula and then wrap around the neck. Now on this model, it's disappearing just as it gets level with the head of the fibula there. So that's the common fibular nerve there and the tibial nerve running straight through the middle there of the popliteal fossa. And remember, the tibial nerve has no name change until it gets to the foot. So this is all tibial nerve running all the way down the posterior aspect of the leg. So that's all tibial, and it won't change until it splits into medial and lateral plantar nerves on the plantar surface of the foot. Okay, so then if we look at an anterior view of the leg, we can see here, uh, below the knee, we have the tibialis anterior muscle here and the, of course the medial surface of the tibia here. So just on the, uh, on the lateral and anterior aspect here of the extensor digitorum longus and fibularis tertius, we have the superficial uh, fibula nerve here. So there we've got superficial fibula and you can see it's got a couple of branches down here in the foot. So that's when we get to the foot. So that superficial fibular nerve, so it's come off the common fibula, uh, where it splits. And then if we remove the extensor digitorum and hallucis longus muscles deep to them, we can see the deep fibular nerve, which is in the anterior compartment. But we can also see a small part here of the superficial fibular nerve before it becomes really superficial. So there it is there in between the muscle bellies of fibularis longus and tibularis brevis. 